focus again. So, okay. You get no choice, I guess. Okay. Let's try this again, guys. Sorry about that. Take two. All right. Hey, can you guys hear us now? Hello, hello. Hi, let us know if you can hear us again. Can you hear Everybody's like, hello, hello, hello. We back. Hi, I love your videos. You're so sweet. Thank can you. Guys you. Hear us? Give me some feedback. Hi, Ray. I can hear. Feeling says I can hear. Okay. Steph good. says sounds perfect, much better. Okay. Okay. So, Scott Trent, I'm not deaf anymore. Naomi, it wasn't you, it was us. <laughs> Um, Scott tried something. I was trying to get it to f stay focused, so I was using the Logitech thing. Anyways, it didn't work. So. Yeah, it, it did not work at all, so we are so sorry about that, but we're back. Um, we did not get any snow. I have no idea what that means, Zon Um it's late over here. Jewel, is, Jewel says, I love you guys so much. You always motivate me to do art. Oh. Maria says, hi, good morning, everyone. Good um, morning. Do you have a tutorial on lips? Uh, there's mouths, which yeah. includes lips. Washington, try the Art Hacks playlist. I love that palette. Where is it from? That palette, it's a plastic palette, is in the art supply list on our website. Yeah, there's a link to it. Yep. Mr. Legit sent you a tip. Oh, thank you. You're sweet. Totally not necessary, but you're sweet. Have you ever tried oil painting, honey? In high school. Um, Melon Bourne wants to know if your what your favorite year was, like 89, 2002. Oh, gosh. Uh, you know what? My favorite year is always the next one. Um, I'm always looking forward, not backwards. I mean, we had some good years, but I, I wouldn't want to go back to the 80s. Scott never goes backwards, guys. Yeah. I always like reminisce. He doesn't go backwards. Um, Nervic, yes, we remember you. Of course we do. Um, let's see. Purple Redford. here seemed seemed appropriate. Um, Redford says, I thought you may love to know that your videos bring both of my grumpy teens to the art space to work with me. Changes the whole mood. Thank you. Oh, that's fantastic. That At least your teens will do it. My yeah. teens are like, ah, that's stupid. I don't like art. No, your teens are always not teens anymore. Yeah. Um, there are so many tutorials on how Scott does hair. Um, Saya. So look in the Art Hacks playlist. There is tons of stuff there. Um, oh, no, he doesn't know how to do that dance. Mm-mm. Lego Lego says, I finally get to see you live. <sighs> um, have you tried any Japanese watercolor paints? Um, I don't think so. Do you have a least favorite art medium? Well, it was acrylics. Um, I guess I'll move it to oils now. Oh, Lula says, good morning from Chile, Santa Fe. Happy Friday. Wishing you all a warm cuppa. Oh, I you too. I have two warm cuppas right in front of me. A cup and a backup every time we go on. Is that small car at the top of the screen? Does it have a story? Yes. Uh, look at the video I posted on Sunday, I think. Yes. Um, Jamie says, it's just cold here in Tennessee. Bird. It is very cold where we are. It is 27 degrees this morning when we woke up. And that, my friends, woo, I can handle the 30s, but the 20s are just a whole new level of cold do you have a reference for your drawing or is it your imagination no um it is a sculpture mm -hmm. in germany oh shoot what we didn't have the we had it up last time it's okay i know but i like having that up what was it it's called? bookmarked oh it's bookmarked that's it. ah there it is thank you for bookmarking that for me i mm -hmm. appreciate it yes this sculpture is called Sleeping Beauty by Louis Sussman Helborn, and it was done in 1878 and resides in the National Gallery in Berlin. I was singing only live can hurt like this, and my three-year-old brother said, you sound like a frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never never sing around your little brother. Um, Mubashir says, your art is my inspiration. Oh, thank you. Um, 
how do you start with gouache? Uh, I did a video on that yesterday. Uh, where's the favorite flower? I don't know what you're asking. Wayne Man, I don't know what, what, what you're asking. Um, hi from Turkey. You make amazing art, such an inspiration. Thank you. Gaming Puppy says you're such a good artist and inspire me to do art too. I use all the tips you give me and it's been a lot of fun. Thank oh, that's wonderful. I'm so happy. One up girl says, watching you while my little one is playing with the cool science experiment we did for homeschool. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's great. Um, Sia wants a tutorial on bodies. Uh, there's a little one, but mostly it's just sending you to go check out how to draw comics the Marvel way or uh, um, constructive anatomy. Blow dryer. Gouache as their oh, that's fantastic. Um, Hope you're enjoying I, it. Ivan says, you've inspired me so much. I drew the Grinch and it looked wonderful. Oh, that's great. Yes. The today, Grinch is fun. Today we are using uh, watercolor, Windsor and Newton watercolors. And by we, I mean Scott, because you don't want to see me as watercolor. Um, um, Ivana says, I've been trying to give watercolors a try, but I can't really wrap my head around how to layer it since my main medium is digital art. Oh, um, what I do is, as you see, I'll blow dry it in between. That's really helping me. And then just go from lights to darks. So you see, I'm, I did my yellows first and then my pinks and then the purples. Would you like to try quilling paper art? I don't know if I know what that is. I don't know what that is either. How did you become brave with your bold colors? Oh, I grew up in the 80s, so everything was neon. So, so compared to the 80s, this is tame. Yes, but the funniest thing is we've got people who keep wanting Scott to try their, their neon watercolors and their yeah. glittering, sparkly watercolors. And he's like, no, I, I don't do glitter. I don't do neon. Oh, Exits Here asks, Scott, how do you feel about people throwing stuff at famous paintings for a quote unquote message? I think it's silly. I think it's it's it doesn't help anybody. I think you know, like no one respects it. No one goes, oh man, it's a good thing they brought that up. No, but if you threw it at CEOs of like oil companies, I think we'd all stand up and cheer. You know how people throw buckets of like cow's blood at people who wear fur. That's what I'm saying. Like like go after the people who are causing climate crisis, not Van Gogh or Gustav Klimt. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Did you use a stencil for the lettering? No, that's just hand lettered. It's really bad. I mean, look at it. Well, this this too is this too is higher than that too. So everything kind of just kind of goes up. Look at that. That's, okay, I never would have noticed if you hadn't said it. Um, but it's surprisingly good for you for lettering. You can well, you thank you. typically stink at lettering. Um, I've learned so much from your videos. Thank you. That's Nita. Thank you. We have not tried Posca markers yet. That's on the list. We do have acrylic markers that we're going to try. Correct. Um, which should be similar, and then hopefully at some point we'll get some Poscas. Yes. But they are expensive, and you know I don't want to spend like three hundred dollars on markers. I'm going to use once. Exactly. Um, every once in a while it snows where we live, but it usually melts the next day. Dana Mercury's here. Hey, Good Dana. Morning, friends. Could you make a more in-depth video on your gouache process? I've been struggling with it for so long. Um, I think uh, I've done, if you look at like the Stanley Tucci and you look at some of my other stuff, you'll see uh, the lives. So you can watch me do it live. So you can get a whole hour and a half of it. I'll be talking about it and what I'm doing. I think that might be better. I, I, I don't know how to fill up a longer video yet. For me, it's it's one minute or nothing. Short, sweet, to the point. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's see. Uh, have your wife or kids ever dipped their toes into art? Uh, our son Logan does uh, some sketchbooks. He likes to doodle a little bit, but no. Um, 
I was I was thinking about all of the colors because the leaves are going to be green. There's going to be roses. This will probably be browns because it'll be wood. Um, and I was trying to think maybe a white dress would stand out a little more. So I'm just giving it a little bit of. What's your favorite place that you've visited? So far, Venice. Um, you make me want to draw every time I watch you. Oh, that's great. Um, you can use spilled art with your dirty paint water. I don't think that would really work with the watercolors because his paint water isn't, it might work with either when he does inks or acrylic or acrylic wash because boy, then the paint water is really nasty. And I only say that because guess who cleans out the paint water jar every time? Yeah, watercolor is very thin, yeah. very transparent. Mm -hmm. How did you choose the color for this? I'm just kind of choosing it as I go. That's why I went with like purple hair because I was like, in my mind, I'm a, I'm a, I'm picturing it, picturing her with red hair. Then I'm picturing her with um, blonde hair. Picturing her, and so I'm just looking in my mind, and I'm going, okay, what color? I wanted the the cushion to be red, so red hair wouldn't really work. Blonde hair probably wouldn't pop out enough, and so that's why I went with purple. Okay, so to answer a whole bunch of you all at the same time. Oh, good morning, Erica. Hey, Erica. Hi. Um. No, Scott does not do a new travel journal every month. He starts one at the beginning of the year. Um, he's just starting this one a little bit early. So this is a Be Creative sketchbook. It is 100% cotton, 300 GSM paper. Um, 100, yeah, all cotton, 300 GSM. And he is using um, Windsor and Newton watercolors. And the brush is from Etcher. And he is doing a painting of a sculpture called Sleeping Beauty by Louis Sussman Helborn. He is, was a German sculptor. This was done in 1878 and resides in the National Gallery in Berlin. There's the paint, there's the sculpture. Isn't that beautiful? Um, um, Ichigono Jamandesu, which I probably completely butchered that and I apologize. It says, good morning, I am inspired to start a new travel journal. Good morning. Good morning. I look forward to seeing some of it. By the way, it was Erica. Erica is a friend of ours who has been with us since the very, very, very beginning of us streaming over on um, TikTok. And, and from time to in the chat today. From time to time, you'll hear us recognize people that yeah. you know have been around for a while. Yeah, every, I mean, we our mods are our friends of ours as well. They've been around since the time we were on TikTok too. But every once in a while, somebody pops into the chat. That we do a little shout out for because we've just known them for a very long time and erica by the way does beautiful art pieces you should go follow her on um instagram she has the most beautiful pieces and she is actually selling some of her pieces now and they are lovely wow what or where is your favorite art museum to visit i haven't been to enough of them and there's a bunch that i want to go to like the tate in london i haven't been to oh yeah that you know, yeah. So um, I can't say that there is a favorite because I have not seen enough. Mm -hmm. What is the white pen you use for the outlines of some of your paintings? I saw a link on your site, but it looked like a thinner one. Yeah, this is the thin one. The one that you saw in yesterday's video is this one, the Crayola Signature. And it came in a set that they sent me. Um, it's, it's not bad. I'll use it from time to time. Can you do a starry night? Uh, yes, I could. Um, yeah, they want to join Pasca Guns. They are just very expensive, and we haven't gotten around. I mean, we've gotten so many things that have been sent to us that we've promised people to do reviews of, which is why we have pushed back um, acquiring the Pasca Pens, because Scott still has stuff on the floor of his office here that uh, we are trying to do. When are you trying digital art? I did. I did two videos. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite place you've ever been to? Uh, probably Venice. Okay. We talked about the types of journal. Uh, Jules took a watercolor course because I saw your work and was inspired. I give watercolor paintings to people all the time now. Oh, that's fantastic. That Isn't is that the best? That's a wonderful gift. Yeah. Um, your local buy slot says, do you have any tips on better line work? Um... I did a video on it, but I don't consider myself a good inker. And so for me, it's, it's, I, I, I think my stuff is subpar. So I, I would say 
watch the video. It's, it should be in the art hacks. Uh, there's a video on inking, but not really my strong point, but I use... Who is somebody you could recommend that they look at? I don't know anybody who has lessons, but like I said, I mean, if you look at how to draw comics the Marvel way, you'll see a lot of good inking suggestions. Um, you know, I, there's so many different ways to do inking. I just, but for me, it's, it's um, a little bit of comic books and a little bit of Art Nouveau. So I'm kind of inspired by a couple different things, but my, my inking style is, I like the variation of lines. That's why I like the brush, the brush pen. Um, there are there are artists like my friend Frank Cho who just uses a, a micron pen, just different size micron pens, and his his doesn't have that kind of variation. Um, there are other artists who use like physical brushes and dip their pens into ink wells, and they get really like uh, Kim Diaz Home is an amazing inker. Um, Every, it's it's just a stylistic thing, but for me, it is just a way for me to um, set up the watercolors. What is the biggest painting you've ever done in terms of size? Uh, that would be the Animal Crackers movie poster. Cole says, I appreciate your encouraging young artists to keep going, your openness about your failures and anxieties, and your progressive mindset on modern issues. You are inspiring and deserve the attention. You're very kind. Thank you. I'm trying. And, and if there's one thing I could do really good at, that's fail publicly. Stop. I'm really good at that. Um, I like working with watercolors. This is Michelle. But I have a hard time layering and building the colors up, so I use a colored pencil. Any tips to do that with watercolors? Um, yeah, I mean, you, you, you've seen me do watercolors. Uh, work from light to dark, and you could build it up really well. Sometimes you got to go over with the same color twice to get the saturation just right. Um, but you can watch me do this every day. It's 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 not rocket science. You can figure it out really easily, I'm sure. Blow dryer. So I'm just laying in the the, the light colors now, and then I'll come in with the shadows. Because watercolor, you always do light to dark. Yeah. Have you been to the Louvre? If so, what was your favorite piece? Uh, there is a, I don't know the name of the painting. Um, it, it's a, um, it's like an angel. Who was, I, I, I. Oh, don't ask me. Yeah. Uh, there's too many paintings in the Louvre for, to even. Remember. Yeah. There was, there was a really pretty one that I really like. I mean, I could, I could find it for you if, if I wasn't painting right now, but um, it was just some obscure painting by some unknown artist. Yeah. I, I had the same reaction. I had a couple of obscure paintings I liked. I always like the ones where you have, it's all dark and then they highlight like one specific thing, like a Rembrandt would with, yeah. with the lighting. I just, she likes single light, I single do. lit stuff. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, do you like the group of seven? Have you ever heard of them? Group of seven. Mm -hmm. It sounds familiar, but I don't, I, I can't say I can recall what they were. Um, Seth, anything that you draw, anytime you're asking me what to draw, it's going to be a red panda. Um, <laughs> Erica goes, and it's me, Erica, big hug. She's so cute. Um, okay. So um, how do you trust the process? I'm so impatient. It's hard to trust it. One thing messes up and bye bye sketch. That's awesome. <laughs> well, I did a video on the ugly phase, and um, watercolor doesn't go through an ugly phase as much because of the inking, and that's why I like it. It's it's very you're quick. Right. Yeah, you 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 get it inked, and then you're just coloring it in like a coloring book. Yeah. So um, if there's a bland phase. You know, where it's like, well, everything seems very flat. Well, I haven't come in with the the, the shading yet, but um, that's well, you're right. It does. It looks like you've created your own coloring page and yeah. you're painting your coloring page. Yeah. It's interesting though to from just from a perspective, like to watch you do the acrylic wash 
has been, and the gua and the um, acrylics has been interesting because it really is more of an impressionistic feel. You know, when yeah. you know, with the with the brush strokes and the paint strokes, and the, it's a totally different look for you. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fun. Like I said, different, different mediums will give you different things, but the, the ugly phase with gouache is just something, if, if you don't like it, then change mediums, go to something like colored pencils or markers or something where you are just working on an eye, then you move over to another part, then you move over to another part. But I got bored of that. And then, so, but uh, the watercolors is, pretty good somewhere in between where you can still be kind of artsy fartsy you guys there's a lot of you asking for tutorials today what specifically are you looking for in a tutorial like this one person Ansh, is asking for a tutorial about sketching and painting portraits what specifically are you looking for are you looking for like a start to finish Kind of a thing are you looking for scott to describe the process along the way what what are you looking for give me some feedback yeah. on that. please just please remember i'm i'm not a trained teacher so for right. me i i'm good at answering questions or encouraging you to paint mm -hmm. but i really don't have tutorials lined up like here's yeah. because the other thing is i don't believe that there's one way of doing things and i'm pretty sure that everything i do unless you're telling me what to do Everything I do is just works for me and it could work for you, but I'm probably doing it wrong according to, you know, teachers and schools and whatnot. <clears throat> okay. The Mooka Museum in Prague was amazing. That's on our list of places to go. Yeah. Um, Charlie is getting new watercolors for their birthday that is coming up soon. Could you give me some suggestions on what to paint, please? Red Panda. <laughs> Santa Claus, anything Christmas. Come up with your own like December. What I did was I I oh god copy December, but make it a snowman. Good idea for you. Sorry. Um, so what I did was I would copy other artists. I copied uh, Alphonse Mucha. Uh, are you gonna visit Rome, Italy? Maybe one day. Rome looks really crowded. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, we want to go. We want to see the Vatican and Vatican City and the Colosseum and all the things. Yeah, I really don't want to see the Vatican, but yeah. I do. I want to at least see it. It's supposed to be beautiful. Will you ever draw in graphite? Oh, I have many times. What is the one trick you wish you knew when you were a beginner? Um, not a trick, but it would be to stop trying to draw from my head. You learn so much more by drawing what you see. Um, can you do a painting with a background with a nature twist? Uh, yeah, I could. Can Octavia make a cameo on other holidays? For example, Octavia as Santa Claus. <laughs> that's <laughs> cute. Oh, God. That's, that's adorable. Um, it's minim min mimism. It, there, it's a zebra brush pen. That's the black ink pen that he uses. Hey, Mythic Phoenix is here. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Have you dabbled in graphic design? No, no, I, I can't stand graphic design. I mean, not, not as an art, but me trying to he do it. He doesn't enjoy it at all. Yeah. We leave that to the People always say, hey, can you design my logo? No, yeah, no. That do That's that. what professionals do. I, um, I'm not good at that. I paid somebody to design our logo. I'm going to butcher this name. I'm going to not say your first name, but the last name is Bianca. It says, I love how you paint and your wife is so calm and has a beautiful voice. You make an amazing couple and I hope you won't close this channel. Thank you very much. Uh, we have no plans on closing the channel. Bianca doesn't know me very well. I sound calm, she says. Would you like to visit Turkey someday? Yeah. Um, okay. They, a question for me. You are obviously so friendly and supportive. How do you manage to raise the kids and keep the house from falling apart and still be so supportive? I'm always losing the battle. Wow. Uh, I'm not supportive every day, you guys. <laughs> I, I'm not. I, it, it is very, very, very hard to be married to an artist. Um, and I don't say that to be mean in any way. I, I, one of the things I love most about Scott is how creative he is and how artistic he is. I love that about him. But our life has not been easy. 
it has always been, and, and I don't say that to be mean in any way, but like we love each other. And when you have something that's like a financial stress, that sort of permeates your whole life. So it, it hasn't been easy, but he's so freaking talented and he's such a good storyteller. And, um, I don't know. I, I haven't always been supportive a hundred percent, but I try to be. So I hope. I don't know if I'm supposed to be flattered or upset. That's, I'm just being honest. He's the worst, but he's so talented. <laughs> I can't stand living with him, but he's you know he's saying? such a good artist. I've never said I can't stand living with you. I just said from a financial perspective, being married to an artist is hard. And you've said it a thousand times. Yeah. Look, I mean, I love you. I loved you when you had hair. I love you now that you're bald. Actually, I think you're cuter when you're bald. I really do. I think he looks like a badass because he's got the little, he's got all the facial hair. Anyways, that's not the point. Um but I don't know. I just, I, it's, it, I'm being honest. You are always honest. So I'm being honest. Does Scott ever mix colors together on the palette first, or does he always layer and blend the colors on the painting itself? With watercolors, I always do it on the paper itself. With gouache, I will sometimes blend it on the palette. Can I expand one? Let me expand one time on that whole like raising kids thing and everything else. It's not your kids fault. And I know there were plenty of times when I got upset at the boys and I was upset about something that I was dealing with with Scott. So try to remove yourself from the situation. Like if I don't care what it is you need to do, but like, if you are having a hard time, just know that it's not the kid's fault. If it's like a money thing or a husband thing or a house thing or a whatever thing. Anyway, I just throw that in. Do you plan on doing more of studying the master series? I really loved it. I would love to. Yeah, I I, I did too. Fun. I I think. Um, see, the problem with doing a series is it's like okay, we started this, we've got to finish it. it. It'd be fine if I was like, you know, every Friday we're gonna study a different master kind of thing. Um, oh, that might be fun. You know, once a week might not be so. But like Monday with the masters. Yeah. That might be fun. Um, that sounds kind of cool. Um, how often do you change your water during a sitting? I don't. This, yeah, I this water will last because I mean, look, I've been using it for 40 minutes and it's still yeah. pretty clear. The one time that you did change the water was when you tried metallic. Oh yeah. Paints. Any metallic paint, you yeah. have to do that. Because it just was gross. I showed my mom this live session and she is now a fan of your voice, Donna. Sorry, Scott. Uh, wow, Sriyashi, I, uh, I'm i sorry. I'm not a fan of my own voice, so. Stephanie says, Donna, I'll go to the Vatican with you. I need to buy the veil thingy. Yep, I want to go. Okay, let's go. We'll go. I don't need you to go with me to the Vatican anymore. I have a partner. Have you done a Mythical Creatures or Gods series yet? No. A lot of people have asked for that. No, the closest I got was Medusa. Um, yes, Scott has tried Crayola markers. <laughs> yeah, there's videos on that. Does copying art or copying an artist is illegal? Yes. So, and it's encouraged, too. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see people painting in museums all the time. Well, I don't know if anymore. I don't think they let you in with backpacks or art supplies anymore. Seeing you paint is so relaxing. For some reason, I wish I had set up my watercolor. <laughs> Um, you're welcome you to art using India inks. Yeah. Anytime you want to set it up, set it up. Yeah. I use India inks, uh, all the time. Um, but I, I never use them as the only, uh, <clears throat> medium. It, it'll always be in addition to like, uh, if you look at the hair journal, I'll usually use, usually use them for the backgrounds. Um, okay guys. So some of the stores where we buy supplies are Blick. Um, we don't have one that's near us, but we um, buy that online. There are Blick stores. You can look for locations. And um, we buy some stuff also at uh, Michael's. Scott's bought things on Amazon. Um, so that is where we buy our stuff. Yeah, if and you want to see where I buy my stuff, the, the links are in the art supplies. Oh, correct. Just wondering how long you've been drawing and painting. Um, 
I've been drawing since I was six or seven, so probably 40 something years. And I have been painting in watercolors since about 2009 or 10. So for about maybe 11, 12, 12, 13 years. Um, Peachy says, hi, Scott, I've been drawing for four years and I think I've gotten better, but others in my school are so much better. How do you stay motivated? Well, see, the thing is, is that it was the same thing with me in school too. There were other artists who were so much better than me. And, um, but what happened was, is that I, I had a passion for it. I enjoyed it. And because I enjoyed it, I went to art school. And I think only one of the other kids from high school went to art school. And then after that, you know, I'm surrounded by other artists who were all better than me. And I just enjoyed what I was doing and I kept at it and I kept drawing. And then now I think out of all of the kids that I went to art school with, I'm probably one of the more successful ones. And that's, it, it has very little to do with passion or with, with talent and all to do with passion. So if you have the passion for it, oh, hey, Santa, if you have the passion for it, then you're going to make something with it. I'm not saying you're going to be the best. But it's the person who has the passion is the person who's going to discover new styles and, and, and you know, have that openness to, to learn and grow. People who just do it because they have the talent are going to get bored with it pretty quickly. Santa says, happy Friday, Scott, Donna, and friends. 37 days until Christmas, five Fridays left. Oh, wow. Oh, my friend, you must be so busy. Busy, busy, busy. busy, busy. busy. Well, I love that you came and hung out with us, Santa, yeah, we love that especially you're during your busy season. Yeah, the busy season. So busy. So busy. So exciting, though. Um, Santa and I are going to do a video together. We are. You are. Yes. Mm -hmm. So keep on the lookout for that. Um, okay. Look, you have a toy car in the background. Yeah. That is a small car. The big one's in the garage. Um, have you you have done a video on drawing perspective, or was it proportion? It's perspective, and that's the one with the Legos. Yes. Okay. Thanks. I keep the P's. I get them confused. Scrapbooking says, "I love hearing Donna's perspective. I know that um, my husband struggles with some of the same feelings, but he isn't a words guy. Most guys are not word guys, but you know, it's it's okay." It's okay. I think the important part is just to keep talking and trying to make everything work out. So you guys see now I'm coming in with the purples. So I'm oh, looking were, at the... Yeah, I thought you were trying to keep it white. I am, but this these parts are in shadow. Oh. So there's lighting now. So now the purples come in. Okay. Um. Greetings from Germany. Thanks to you, I started a traveling journey to journal two, and it's really fun to draw at other places. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, this this sculpture is in Berlin. Yes. So please go visit it. It's called Sleeping Beauty, and I and it is gorgeous. We want to come see it. Yeah, it's at the National Gallery in Berlin. Um, how do you constantly stay motivated? Have you experienced art block and why is hair so difficult? Um <laughs> uh, yeah, I, you know, the thing is, is that there is a, vi a video on art block and I I get inspired by other artists. And mm -hmm. so this is this is me. I didn't know what to paint for my for the opening page of my travel journal. So I go and I look at other art. And, and so now I'm painting somebody else's art. It, you know, it, again, it, this is how artists get inspired is by copying and studying other artists. Um, it's how musicians do it. Musicians will listen to other music and then they'll copy it and they'll, oh, I like the way they did this. And then they, you know, at, it, it's just, there's, that's how we as artists communicate, how we grow and how we, we, um, I mean, look, look at uh, like hip hop does sampling, you know, uh, artists will do covers of, of artists, of songs that they like. I'm sorry, musicians will do covers. 
this is this is one of those things that I think is important that a lot of artists for some reason are afraid of doing. They're afraid of um, openly copying art that they like. And and it's a great way to, to, to introduce people to artists, you know, like you guys didn't know about this sculpture until I did this. And, and I think that's a wonderful thing is to, that's, that's why we did the studying the masters. I could, I could copy other artists mm -hmm. and we could talk about Monet. We could talk about Terra Olympica, mm -hmm. you know, or tomorrow Olympica mm -hmm. and, and, and things like that. So I think that's a wonderful thing. So please, please, please. If you are dealing with artist block, try copying some, uh, some art from a museum. Um, we are still working on Animal Crackers 2. Um, we don't have any um, information just yet. Just hang in there with us. We're, oh, I keep still saying we're close and it's just, it's frustrating because the um, every, the market and the industry and everything right now is, uh, is a little difficult and everything in Hollywood slows down if not comes to a grinding halt around the holidays. So basically between Thanksgiving and New Year's, we probably won't hear anything. So um, Ellie wants to know if there are any mediums you haven't tried that you would like to become skilled with. Sculpting. Um, love from India. Oh, love, hugs Brazen, from the Hobbit hole. Brazen Spirituality says, do you think that just painting or coloring others' designs is still art or just a hobby? Like if I bought someone's black and white book and filled it with watercolor or markers or colored pencil. I think that is you learning. Um, I think uh, if you want to have that be a some people just want to say that they do that they make art and and that that makes them happy it's their hobby if you want to make it a career you, you can't make a career of coloring in books again i say that um i don't want to say tongue-in-cheek because lord knows people have made a lot of money taping a banana to a um to a wall it's a good example of absurdity so what I'm saying is, is that, you know, never say never. The art is in the idea. So if you have ideas of how to color in other people's work and turn that into art, frame it or whatever it might be, and, and you could do a way that's unique, that isn't um, stealing the copyright of another, you know, that artist's work, but then, then, then that's art, 100% art. Okay, Obsidian Glaze says, Hi, Scott. I just wanted to say you're a great artist and you've played a significant role for many beginner artists such as myself. I just want to thank you for that. Have a lovely day. That is so nice of you. Thank you very much. Simply X Mads says, When did you find out that art was your passion and what did you sacrifice or give up to accomplish this goal? Uh, my hair. I lost my hair from my art. Um, no, I. My sanity. I gave up my sanity for this. <laughs> I. I I discovered my passion probably in high school. Um, and a lot of that had to do with uh, teachers who encouraged me. And a lot of that had to do with the fact that I hated school and I was really bad at it. And this was the one thing that made me happy. And I think that's just the, the way we find out what our purpose is, is when you see other people excelling at something that you just can't, it doesn't click with you, but you have that one thing that makes you happy that you can do that. And you might not be the best of it at it, but it makes you happy. Um, I think that's where we find our purpose. And that kind of happened to me in high school. Yeah. Um, what video game? Currently Overwatch 2. I'm still waiting and I got to wait till next year for uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Though um, I am going to be getting uh, an old Game Boy for Christmas, which is very cool because I love that game. Um, <clears throat> do you work also? Um, I, I do from time to time. I have some film projects that I'm working on and uh, it doesn't take up all of my time so I could do this. But uh, once we begin, you know, working on our next film a hundred percent, because right now the, the stuff I'm doing is kind of just helping other films out. 
Um, once I start making my own film again, where I'm writing, directing, producing, et cetera, et cetera, then yeah, my, my time to paint will probably be reduced quite a bit, which I'm not looking forward to, but. But we learned from our last project that we will not work 24 seven. Yeah. We will give ourselves time to paint for you, time to journal for me all the things you have it has to be a balance yeah i'm definitely going to journal more yeah um right now scott is working in the be creative sketchbook it is 100 percent cotton yeah 100 gsm paper i mean you look I, it is wet and it's not bending hardly at all it's they're really thick and i could paint on the back sides and, and everything so blow dryer Thanksgiving, but what's your favorite Thanksgiving food to eat? Rice. Will you ever collaborate with other YouTube artists? Yes, I'm supposed to collaborate with Rishi Draws and Black Bean. Um, I am going to do one with Santa, and I'm going to do one with Kim Diaz Home. So, yeah, I, 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 I like doing that stuff. It's just you have to work around other people's schedules, so that's all I'm really doing right now. Will you ever make a video where you try different styles like anime and realism? Um, I've done all of those styles, but I, I, I've been working on, I know it's not technically anime, but I've been working on a video in the new stone, the stone paper, mm -hmm. and I'm doing the boulder and Toph. So, yeah. You'll have to wait. Yeah, till next week. All right, I want to make the background dark. Can you paint the text up at the top. Yes. Tadpole had a friend once that said that using reference was quote unquote cheating, and I need to draw from my mind. Yeah, Tad Tadpole, your friend is hundred percent wrong, and yeah. and they don't know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. and most it's of literally not an artist. It's literally the opposite. Mm -hmm. Photo reference is your friend. All of the masters used photo reference. Yeah, but there's also no such thing as cheating. I know. But Anytime someone, experience. look, this is just a PSA. Anytime someone tells you that anything you're doing is cheating, ask them to pull out the rule book. Say, okay, show me which, what, what violation, section seven, paragraph three. Show me where. The boulder awesome. The boulder feels conflicted. Good night. See you in the next live. Bye. Have a good night. Considering the artists who have done Lord of the Rings, Alan Lee or John Howe. I don't know John Howe's work, so I'd have to go with Alan Lee because I love Alan Lee's work. What is the most difficult texture for you to replicate or just for most people in general? Um, Gustav Klimt's textures. I've tried oh, several times and I just... The background oh, patchworks that he does, mm -hmm. I, I I can't do it. I've I've tried so many times. Sketchy pumpkin says saying you can't use a photo reference is like saying you can't use a ruler to make straight lines. It's a yeah. tool like any other. I've literally had Correct. people ask if it's cheating to use a ruler and say, "Oh, my teacher said it's cheating." Well, your teacher's wrong. Um, Scott Hill us about your production please i'm a new artist looking for tips also new mediums and brands oh um so you started out this painting doing what uh i used a 4h pencil mm -hmm. and you did what and um, then i inked over it with a zebra brush pen no no you traced it oh yeah i definitely traced it mm -hmm. just so we're clear everybody scott yeah. traced this it's not cheating yeah then you went over it with a uh, zebra brush pen. Okay. And then now and watercolors. Why? Why do you use Because it's pencil? waterproof. Thank you. And now what are we doing? Now we're painting it. With? Watercolors. Windsor and Newton watercolors? Yes. In a Be Creative sketchbook? Yep. I love it. Okay. 
Have you tried doodling? Oh my God, Scott doodles everywhere. Yeah. You know that you go to those restaurants with the paper across the table? Yeah. He's the, we are the table that everybody comes to look at because there are so many drawings on the table. But the thing is, is that um, there's a video on sketches and doodles and whatnot too. Um, we have been married for almost 30 years. 30 will be in January. Correct. Um, Scott has tried watercolor pencils, Jasmine, and there is a video. There's a video on that and watercolor markers. Correct. So you can check that out. Are those in the art hacks? Things? Yeah, they or should the be. Reviews? I think they're under art hacks. Okay. Um, let's see. I think one rule should be printing an art piece that was stolen. Yeah, you can't do that. What? Yeah, um, printing an art piece that was stolen. And then no, you, you, yeah, you, you. Uh, here's what I do. People ask me if they could print out my, my art, and I say absolutely. It is 100%. It is not legal to print it out and then start selling copies of it. Correct. But I can't stop you. You don't tape the paper in a sketchbook. How do you prevent it from curling or waving? Is it the paper quality? The paper quality. Mm -hmm. Now, that being said, when you were using the um, Canson Canson notebook the other day, he did put clips on it because yeah, the Canson, Canson notebook... isn't isn't as thick. Correct. So they're both three hundred GSM, but but this one is just. But Canson's not one hundred percent cotton. Yeah, so I don't even just, think there's any cotton in it. It's a little different. Yeah. All right. What is your favorite thing you've drawn? Probably the Animal Crackers movie poster. What brand of gouache did you use for your half painting video? Oh, uh, Windsor and Newton. Do you ever draw with your left hand? No. Um, I'm at a point in my art where I find it passively good, but I'm in a valley where I'm kind of rolling my boulder up a mountain. Every time I take a step forward, I fall back down. Any tips? Um. Change mediums or change subject matter. That 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 shock to the system helps. Like I I was bored with my colored pencils, so I went to digital 3D. And then I got bored with that, so I went to watercolors. And then I got bored with that and I went to gouache. And then I came back to watercolors. And now I'm playing with acrylic gouache. And you see me changing mediums all the time. Okay. I need to replace my gouache. What's your go-to brand? I like Windsor and Newton. If you were to have a different hobby besides art, what would it be? Um, either photography or music. Um, the digital drawing pad that you used, which one was that? You know, I think green might be a nicer one. Digital drawing pad that, that I you used. used. What was that? I don't know what you mean by digital Is drawing. Is it the Wacom tablet? Oh, it's not a digital drawing. It's a, yeah, it's a tablet. Okay. So you used a Wacom tablet, and you used which program? Uh, Rebel 5, I think it is. Do you recommend mechanical pencils for sketching? Um, not me personally, but, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I I just, I like the the feel of a traditional pencil. I've, I've worked with mechanical pencils many times, but, um, no, I just, I think I, I like the feel of traditional have you ever thought of doing any more characters from Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to do Nacho. I'd like to do um, uh, guy. What's his name? The the, the the Los Pollos Hermanos guy. Um, any tips for starting up a YouTube channel? Um, I would say uh, find something you love that you want to talk about every day. And, and then post daily if it's something that you want to turn into a career. When you started art, did you use watercolor or something else? Oh, when I started art, it was pencil. I would do graphite realistic pencils. And then I got into colored pencils, Prismacolor pencils. And I did that for, you know, at least two decades. And then, um, then I got into digital 3D because I was doing animation, and then uh, the watercolors came later. 
when are the Octavia stickers going to be available in the store? I'm still waiting for the for the store to. They're trying to get. We're trying to do um, trading cards mm -hmm. uh, for the um, national. Yeah, the days. national thirty days of you know. Mm -hmm. So we're waiting for that. But yeah, I'm I'm hoping soon. Your favorite gouache brand is Winsor and Newton. Yeah. What's the whole bean that you use? That's acrylic gouache. Ah, whole bean is acrylic gouache. Thank you for that. I heard that adding cornstarch to acrylic paint makes it thicker. Is that correct? I've never tried it. I don't want to make anything thicker. I want it as thin as possible. What's your stance stance in your endless battle with acrylic after the Punisher painting? Um, I I realize that I've been using the wrong acrylic, and so I still don't like the glossiness of acrylic. So there's there's that, and I know you can add matte mediums, but then I might as well just use uh, gouache or acrylic gouache. Um, I don't. It didn't feel like, oh my god, I could paint so much better with this than I could with gouache. So I didn't feel like, like I had like um, I had found something new. But I was happy that I found something that I could use. Do you have any tips on working up the steadiness in one's hands? I love doing art, but my hands and lines are often very shaky. Um, yes, what I do is. Uh, I rest my hand on the paper or on the thing. So can you guys see uh, my hand is rested here and then it's, I could just do this and I, there's no shakiness now. So this is, see, these are the two fingers that I use. It's like chopsticks, I think. Uh, um, Jasmine says just recently was able to play paper boy on an old console from a mall. Oh, Sorry fun. Sorry for getting you run over so many times. It's, LOL. You know, I feel every single time that you guys do that to me. Um, I dare you to draw with your left hand. That's shy. You just want to see me in pain, don't you? Chaos. Any tips for beginners trying out watercolor? Uh, yes, work lights to darks and get good paper. Um, okay, so uh, commissions are closed right now. The reason commissions are closed is because Scott has a project that he's working on. And so there's not enough time um, for him to do that. It, there's a, it takes a lot of time for him to make videos every day. So making videos and doing projects and then painting and everything is a lot. Do you have any tips on staying motivated to finish a painting? Um, yeah, I, I keep my paintings down to a time limit of how long I'm going to feel motivated to do it. So uh, don't work on big paintings if you lose motivation quickly. Do a painting that's only going to take you an hour, or you know, or if you can, if you you feel like you can keep your motivation for six hours, then only do six hour paintings. Only you will know when you start to lose interest. Everybody's different. Some people can like Bethany here, one of our mods. Uh, she she has she has oil paintings that she's been doing for like years. You know, they just sit there and then she comes back to them. And uh, my friend Frank does the same thing. He's got these huge oil paintings that he's been working on for several years. That would drive me crazy. It, it would it would it would kill me. And so work work to your strengths. If you're someone who loses your patience. Don't do a big one like that. Okay. Um, have you tried oils before? In high school only. Bethany says my studio is lined with canvases all around. Yeah. That's because oils take forever to dry. So bless her. I don't know how she does it, but she starts one painting and she has a palette for that painting. I've actually seen these and she puts the palettes. She's got them all labeled. So she knows what colors she's using for what paintings and it's incredibly organized. Um, I like using color pencils in my drawings. Any tips and tricks? I use Prismacolors. Oh, I have <clears throat> tons of, there's a video on Prismacolors on, on colored pencils and I use Prismacolors too. You just gotta press down hard to blend the colors. That was the biggest thing for me. Um, he used to have big fat calluses on his fingers from using Prismacolors. Yeah. Cause you press so hard, I remember that. Brushes you just don't and it's been really nice. Mm -hmm. Do you watch anime? Not anymore. 
Um, I, I had Speed Racer and Star Blazers were my favorite. Then in the 90s, I get into Dragon Ball Z, but no. Um, oh, Robotech, too. There are videos on drawing eyes and videos on drawing hands. Um, have you ever drawn Gravity Falls? Uh, I have not. Um, Scott is not comfortable with anything in the design field. What is your most expensive art supply and or your favorite art supply? Gosh, my most expensive art supply would probably be this table. <laughs> That's actually true. Yeah. That's actually true. And what was the second question? Um, what's your favorite art supply? Uh... I love my I love my uh, Swiss medic bag. Did I miss saying hi to Richard? I did miss saying hi to Richard. Hey Richard. Hi Richard. Good morning. How much longer do you think you're going to make art pieces? So I, we can know yeah, I, I hope I hope for another 50 60 years if I can. Hey, we have an Ellen too. Good morning, Ellen. Hey Ellen. Um, are you going to make an Animal Crackers picture book? You know what? We do. We have a book uh, based on Animal Crackers. Which one? In the, what are you talking about? Which one? They want a picture book of Animal Crackers. They're asking if there's I, a I understand that. Which book are you saying is available? The Animal Crackers book. Which one? I, I'm saying, do we have it on the store? I don't know which book you're talking about. Can you describe the book in your mind that the you're book thinking? That you wrote that is Animal Crackers. The book. The graphic novel. Correct. Thank you. Because you know we have the art of Animal Crackers. I'm talking about the art of Animal Crackers. They're asking if there's a picture book. That's the not a that's picture book. No, we don't have a picture book. But we have a graphic novel. There you go. What? A picture book. I didn't what know if you were the one with the most pictures is the is the art the of Animal Crackers. For the love of God, I'm not talking about Do you see what I have to deal with? Am I or am I not a saint for living with this woman for 30 years? 30 years of this. Oh, please. You know what? If you would just listen. Just say the just words. listen to me. Picture book. Picture book is a children's book. I mean the animal crackers. I mean the art of animal crackers. It's a children's book. Excuse us while my husband is incredibly wrong on multiple levels. Yeah. Uh, yes, the people controlling the chat are very hardworking. Those are our mods. They are our friends, and they are wonderful. Uh, what tea am I drinking this morning? Okay, I had two cups of the Herod's strong. Yeah, as if that tea. wasn't evident. You know, you woke up and decided that it was going to be chaos today. Mm -hmm. You just don't understand a word I'm saying. What brushes are you using, honey? And stop being snarky. These are the Etcher Labs. Uh, watercolor paintbrushes. I did a video uh, that included them. What advancement in art in your lifetime has been the most interesting to you? Photoshop. Uh, Donna doesn't work with paints. I actually prefer a fountain pen and a journal, and I write instead. Um, I'm late to the party. If this is a travel journal, where are you going? <laughs> Um, oh, travel journal. Oh, sorry. Um, this is a travel journal. Where are you going? Sorry. Again, he doesn't listen to me. Uh, I... You're not. And you need to pull it down. We can't see what you're painting on the top of the page. Thank you. Um, the um, this I have travel journals that I do, uh, and I'll make a video on it. But I was I finished my last one. I did a video. Uh, if you look last week, you'll see a recap of my 2022 travel journal. And the last day was the zoo with the aardvarks. So um, I'm starting a new one. And so whenever I finish an old one, I like to make a nice piece for the first page, just so I have something to inspire me. And so I'm going to do that. Richard says, ah, yes, 30 years right there, folks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. 30 long, long years. Don't get me started, Saba. You want to go there? Uh, we do not have any future travel plans right now. We are... 30 years in January, and we are going to try to do something nice for our 30th anniversary, but now I don't know if I want to travel with him anymore because yeah. he's being a pain in my butt. I'm going to Scotland without you. You over your dead body. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you recommend art school to improve your artwork? If you are someone who is a good student, <laughs> I was not a good student. I rejected a couple weeks ago. 
Oh, I'm sorry. So- Look, I, I, who knows what the politics are? It's the same thing as I, I, do you know how many times I've been rejected now uh, oh, from, yeah. from art contests and, and this and that or what? It, it, there's there's no rhyme or reason for that. Don't take yeah. it personally. The thing is that if you love art and this is something that you want to do, hi Pacer. Pacer, then you're going to be, you know, you're gonna you're gonna pursue it and you're gonna learn from it. You don't need a school for something like that. You absolutely don't. That said, um, if you're looking to see what you want to do for the future, maybe there's uh, another skill a secondary skill that you can use as your college degree while you pursue art on your own. You don't need to go to college for art. Okay. Um, yeah, that's okay. Donna Scott can go to Scotland and you can come visit me. Oh, Emma had me. I'm going to England without you. So yeah, we're going to have tea together. Love from Sweden. Thank you. Hugs from the Hobbit hole. Blow dryer. Okay. Um, Scott has never tried the Camlin Dom's Faber Castell, whatever that is. It's what is it? I think it's watercolors. So he's never tried that. I'd like to. Um, my coffee chose chaos today. True. Coffee always chooses makes chaos. Um, how is it to live with an artist? Um, I'm telling you. Let me tell you. So the tea of the morning um, was Herod's strong breakfast tea, two cups. And I am following that up with a Pittsburgh strong breakfast. Strong and smooth like steel. Pittsburgh is steel town. So um, let's see. Um, okay. Questions. Okay. Um, again, he is using the Be Creative sketchbook, 100% cotton paper, 300 GSM. Um, in schools where, especially, blah, blah, in schools now, especially where I live, art is a hated subject. I never knew why. Why do you think that is? Hated yes. by the students? Or by the yeah I, by the school. What does that or mean the that? general public? Yeah. How did the pandemic impact your art career? It really helped yeah. because I, you know I, I wasn't off doing other things and I was stuck at home and so I started painting and posting videos. I joined TikTok and and that really kind of took off and and so yeah it it really helped me kind of focus on my art which i i love favorite holiday uh santa's here still right i would assume okay christmas is it hard to film edit and publish videos daily it is it is a lot of work the editing the editing is is tough i mean Mm -hmm. on top of just trying to come up with something to talk about each day um but yeah, it, it, it is. And, but I, I, I'm happy. It. You have to make hours for it. I say you spend three to four hours a day between the writing, the editing, yeah, the recording. It's a lot. You know, and then we, we, you know, we have other things to do in our life too. And so it's, There's it's, meetings and phone calls and, yeah. you know, tons of other things. Going to the bank 400 times and trying to wire money that never goes. Um, favorite flavor of Kool-Aid? Um, probably grape. Seriously? I would have said your favorite flavor was cherry. No. I always like strawberry Kool-Aid. I always thought that was a great, I mean, grape obviously is a good flavor, but I always thought strawberry. My lips would all get all red when we do strawberry Kool-Aid. Do you have any tips for someone trying to make a career in art? I have a job in a studio now, but it doesn't pay all the bills and going to college is not in my cards. I love it. Um, games movies, um, video games are probably the best career. That's That was the one where I think we had the most steady paycheck was when I was in games, right? We had yeah, health benefits it. and yeah. 401ks and everything else, and you know? Hated it. Every minute of it. Hated going into an office. I did. I, 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 I hate going into an office. Well, I didn't like going into an office either, that being said. 
Um, <laughs> this person's got to go to a meeting myself. Good luck. I hope your meeting is swift and has a good outcome. Meetings are never fun. Do you have any exotic art supplies? Um, I guess the Swiss medic, medic bag is kind of exotic. It was... I think your arch is paper. Oh, yeah, the French art paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you could have any pet in the world, what would it be? Um, a unicorn. I want a donkey. Like Rip. Or, a farmer. Or a dragon. Seriously? They breathe fire. You paint on paper. Tanya, you, people get out of your way when you... Walking a dragon down the street. What's your favorite movie? The Princess Bride. Um, our boys are college age, and we don't really talk about them too much. Um, if you, how many pieces of oh god, how many pieces of art have you done over the years, and what inspired you to do your favorite piece of art? Probably thousands. yeah, tens of thousands. So I mean, if you think art. if you think the last couple of years. I have been doing a painting a day. So that's just in two years, 700 paintings. Um, so yeah, over 50 years, probably 10,000. So, so many pieces of art, you guys, so many. Is there anything you use for art, but it's not actually meant for art? The Swiss so, medic bag. So many things, and the record that you use to make the circles. Oh yeah, yeah. So many things that he uses. Um, All right. Um, I'm going to give one last blow dry. And then let us do... Favorite Christmas movie is It's a Wonderful Life. And I love all of the, if, if it's a TV show, it's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I'm like, hands down, the stop motion one from the 60s. Forget it, that's it. Can't tell me any, otherwise at all. Um, let's see. Scott is using Windsor and Newton watercolor paints in a Be Creative sketchbook. Sarah Wilson says, I remember reading a story as a kid about a dragon who did pottery and used her fire breath as a kiln. There's ways to have a dragon as an artist. There okay. you go. And Sarah gave you a tip. That's, that is a killer story. I, I would name that. my dragon Blow Dryer. Oh my God. Are you serious? I would name my dragon Blow Dryer. That is fantastic. I love that. That's, that's the comment of the day. I love that. That's great. Um, um, Electric Sheep wants to know how do you blend watercolors? Uh, I there's different ways. There's wet on wet and wet on dry. I do wet on dry, which means I like to dry each layer before I come over with another layer. So I kind of look at them as if they're like um, overlays, like transparent overlays. So if you add, you know, a little bit of red on top of the yellow, it's going to become kind of orangey. Uh, I do have a favorite mug I like drinking out of. Um, it's a mug I got in Disney World, and it says Her Ladyship. And it is a bone china mug, which, as we all know, holds the heat in better and makes the tea taste better. I'm not saying, but I'm saying. I've tried. Multiple times. Um. Let's see. Doesn't the blow dryer blow your paint everywhere? No, no, no. I make sure that I keep it very, very light. Why do you throw your art bag in Esmeralda when you're going somewhere? Because everything is is wrapped up so tight it can't move. Like there's no damage to it. So it's fun to kind of chuck it. Again, see what I have to live with. Uh, T, all the way. Tea or, or brew through coffee. Scott doesn't drink coffee at all and barely tea. Um, did you try sometimes to not outline your out your um, paintings with black? Yes. Yeah. And there's there you'll see sometimes I'll I'll I won't do it. Um, the times that you'll see that I won't do it is when there's a background. 
Um, so um, if there's a physical background where a character is in a scenery, then I won't do that because that'll take them out of the scene. Will you do another video on the Kodak camera? Yes, I am. I put in another roll of film and I am just going around taking some more pictures so I can get that developed. Um, but yes, soon. soon. What's your favorite TV show? Uh, I've got a few. There's The West Wing, Law and Order, the original one, Avatar, The Last Airbender, Justified, uh, and maybe Speed Racer. <laughs> Richard asks, is this painting a reflection of how you feel at the end of each day? No, this is a reflection of what it feels like to be married to Scott. <laughs> but I'm bunch. Yes, I was here all week. Thank you. Yeah. Is this a white gel pen? It is. What's your favorite video game? Uh, currently, it is uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild and Overwatch 2. Um, Scott does not like drawing uh, babies. Um, will you ever paint a pickle? He has painted our dog numerous times. We call her a pickle because she's difficult. Um, and he wants to know, how can I draw slash paint fire? Oh, um, it depends on the medium. I mean, if I was going to be doing it with gouache, it would be different than how I would do it with colored pencils or markers or watercolors. So different mediums, you're going to do it differently. Good choice. There's a story in there about a dragon. Come on. <laughs> yes, a blow dryer dragon that just breathes wind. All right. Do you think it's important for artists to sign their work? Um, no, it's not important at all. You're sure? Yeah. I mean, you, it, it's... Because you always tell me to make sure everything's signed. For the people who are buying it. There you go. You know, but um, honestly, you don't have to sign your work. The I never sign my sketchbook stuff. Uh, but if you're going to sell to somebody, you're going to, you know, so, then yeah, I would, I would sign it. Um, if you're going to post it online, um, I don't, I don't know. Look, people are going to steal your work, and it's really easy to remove your signature. So. You know, it's just, it is what it is. I'd but... sign it if you want to post it online. And I'd sign it in a precarious place. Where no All right, can you still see? No, you can't. There, okay. Yeah, push it up a little bit so you can see the bottom of it. Just, just like a half an inch. There you go. All right, so. Have you ever felt shy about sharing your work or asking other artists for help? If so, how do you get over that? Um, I've never asked another artist for help, but um, yeah, I'm always shy about my work. Okay, you can't see the others anymore. Okay. You can only fit three in them. All right. Well, here is 2020, and here is 2019. So. Sophia asks, what is one thing you have been grateful for this past week? Hmm. Can't really say anything's happened that made me grateful. I mean, other than the usual stuff, but I'm grateful that uh, my boys aren't talking to me. They're college students, and they call us on a regular basis. I think, and I, and that has made me incredibly happy. Yeah. We don't reach out to them. They've been reaching out to us, which is nice. Do you have any plans to make reviews video? Um, like reviewing art, other people's art. Yeah. What, what do you mean by that Shin? Um, art, like a review of his art from the year? Cause you already did that or. <clears throat> oh, Eric says my haggard that you did still needs to be signed. Ah, that was my bad. Scott, what do you think about living your livelihood as an artist? Oh, I think it's amazing. I, I, Honestly, wish there were more avenues for artists to make a decent living than trying to become YouTube famous or something like that. You know, I, I wish that there was a way for artists to just make art. Do you recommend the Windsor Newton Professional Field Box? Um, if, 
If you're a professional, yes. If you're just learning, no. I mean, it, why spend the extra money? The Cotman stuff works fine. I did a comparison. They work fine. It's just the Cotman won't last maybe more than 10 years. Um, it'll start to fade. Um, like the light fastness test that you've seen me doing. So just keep that in mind. But I mean, if you're just learning, use the Cotman brand stuff. Um, Scott's favorite color is Payne's Gray. His favorite book is The Hobbit. We don't have a favorite horror movie either of us. We don't really like horror movies. Yeah. Yes, we did watch the Firefly series. And they would like to see Firefly in your style. And oh, I did do... Um, you did the girl with the long hair. Yeah. And when you do an avatar painting... That that color red might be really too much. Hold on. Blow dryer. So they would like oh, Arwen. Of Arwen. Richard says if you post online, use an intrusive watermark on the page. I'm going to share your account with my friend who loves art and the Hobbit. Sophia says, I just bought my mom and I some tea from NMT Foundry as a Christmas gift. Thank you for the recommendation. Ah, I hope you tried the Scottish breakfast tea. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Do you have any favorite sports teams? No. I was a Pittsburgh Steelers fan when I was a kid in the 70s. But, uh, I, you know... No. Is the Be Creative book taller than the Canson book? No, it's actually shorter. So the Canson book is this one. You can see it's bigger. I'll be doggone. So this is six by nine. This uh, this is five and a half by eight and a half. So it's actually a little thinner too. Interesting. Do you play any types of games like Minecraft? Uh, Overwatch 2 and... Uh, Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda. They want you to make a flip book. The links aren't working. Are they in his description? Links for what links are not working? I'm under your floorboards. What links? What is your favorite drawing? Probably my Animal Crackers movie poster. Is it, Joy says, is it bad that I want Donna to make dragon wings for the board? So if you're looking for links, if you go to my, my page and uh, look, we're live right now. Um, and you scroll over to either store, but I would go to about, and there's sava.art.com. There's TikTok, Discord, Instagram, everything. All the links. Okay. Have you ever played Destiny? I don't think so, no. Um, and that... I think that's it. Pretty much brings me to the, end of the comments. All right, everybody. I think we are good to go. Do you recommend a protector spray to help color fastness for cheaper paint? Um, no, I, I don't like to protect my stuff. I'm not really a fan of it. Um, All right, I, we you should... look at Scott's art, there's a video about your very first art book that you've ever, your very first painting. Yeah. Ever. All right, guys. Thank you all. Out. Thanks for being here. Sorry for the false start with the. Yeah, that didn't work very well. <laughs> Did it? Um, all right. So thank you very much for being here. We will see you on, on Monday. Yeah, it's Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, another week. So we will see you on Monday. Thanks for being here. Thank you. We, we hope love you, guys you all. Have a great weekend. Have a fantastic Friday, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yeah,